I'm Rusty Kath, and today we're going to be talking about natural gas regulators, and I'm chatting with someone who knows an awful lot about them, Emerson's Will Kraft. Will, you work in the natural gas regulator world. What's the major challenge your customers are facing at the moment? The natural gas distribution market has had a challenging landscape the last few years. Customers are looking to add layers of overpressure protection while reducing gas emissions. The industry has seen a shift in operating procedure, the need to reduce emissions and increase the layers of protection from unplanned events. What happens if they can't do those things? If they don't adjust protection methods, they may leave customers and equipment downstream at risk of overpressurization. They may also risk fines from venting gas to atmosphere instead of containing with a slam shut or monitor system. How can Emerson help prevent that from happening? We have launched the LS200 series regulator. This product is a two-inch direct operated regulator with optional slam shut. It has class 150 pressure rating to cover distribution pressures and outlet control range from 60 to 5 PSI. It being a direct operated regulator, it is simpler to work on, adjust and maintain than a pilot operated version. The slam shut feature is a type of protection that will shut off gas downstream if pressure exceeds normal operation. Instead of venting gas to atmosphere, it will shut off flow until someone comes out to inspect the reason for overpressure and resets the slam shut. Huh. So uh, what else is unique or, or different about this product? Our solution is unique in a couple of ways. One way is you can change the side of the body the slam shut is mounted to. This is a great feature for parallel runs where you might have to climb through some tubing to reset a slam shut. This allows the configuration to always have the slam shut on the outside of a skid, making maintenance and rearming safer and an easier task. Wow, any other benefits? Another benefit of our solution is the ease of maintenance. In most large direct operated regulators, you often need two people for routine maintenance. One person holds the trim while the other is changing the disc. The LS200 is designed so trim will not twist, resulting in a quick disc change without disassembling the actuator. You only need one person and 30 minutes to change out the disc on these. That's from shutting the gas off to turning back on. The regulator uses a balanced design, allowing for large orifice and high capacity potential. In many conditions, the LS200 capacity is in line with pilot ops used in distribution monitor systems with a little bit more droop. The LS200 can be paired with a 299, 99, EZL, or other pilot ops and not limit the station capacity. This is due to the LS200 improved capacity performance. How do these benefit the customer? Customers will benefit from the reduced maintenance turnaround time on disc repair, slam shut options for protection, and increased corrosion resistance for difficult coastal applications. Hey, thanks for your time today, Will. This is really good stuff. Um, hey, before we wrap things up, if people want to learn more about the LS200, where can they go to get started? Yeah, they can go to emerson.com and look at the LS200 webpage. They can also go on YouTube and look up the Emerson uh, channel for updated videos.